Shalom. We want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, or Kakwadash. We want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where I learned this truth from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations unto the hopefully leg. And today I want to go into the book of Isaiah, chapter 33. Lord willing, this lesson is edified and straight to the point. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 33. Woe well, to thee that spoilest, and thou wast not spoiled, and dwellest treacherously, and they dealt not treacherously with thee. When thou shalt cease to spoil, thou shalt be spoiled. And when thou make an end to deal treacherously, they shall deal treacherously with thee. And yes, you know, the nation of Edom dealt treacherously with us, you know. They had no mercy on the nation of Israel. You know, when they had us in captivity, where well, they currently still have us in captivity, but, you know, more so when they had us in bondage. <laughs> you know, the things that they would do to us, you know, they didn't show any mercy. So the same way they dealt with us, it's the same way that we're going to deal with them, you know, but in a righteous manner. Verse 2. O Yahweh, be gracious unto us. We have waited for thee. Be thou their arm every morning. Our our salvation almost it's lucky. Our salvation also in the time of trouble. And yes, you know, ultimately, you know, the Lord through Yahweh Shai is gonna be our salvation, you know. The elect of the nation of Israel are going to be delivered in the time of trouble. Verse 3. At the noise of the tumult, the people fled. At the lifting up of thyself, the nations were scattered. And your spoil shall be gathered like the gathering of the caterpillar. As the running to and fro of locusts shall he run upon them. The Lord is exalted, for he dwelleth on high. He hath filled Zion with judgment and righteousness, and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times, and strength of salvation, for the fear of the Lord is his treasure. Slakia. Be as you know during the time that we're coming into, you know, the time being the time of Jacob's trouble, this is what's going to get us through, you know, this is what's going to keep us stable, you know, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the scriptures, you know, because this is, you know, one of the main things that we're going to need next to faith during this time of trouble that we're coming into. Verse 7, Behold, the valiant ones shall cry without the ambassadors of peace shall weep bitterly. The highways lie waste. The wayfaring man ceaseth. He hath broken the covenant. He hath despised the cities. He regardeth no man. The earth mourneth and languisheth. Lebanon is ashamed and hewn down. Sharon is like a wilderness, and Bashan and Carmel shake off their fruits. Yes. You know, Esau Edom, you know, he basically, he, it's like you, but basically, you know, Esau Edom not only oppressed all the other nations, you know, mainly the nation of Israel, but he is also oppressing the earth, you know, the earth is mourning because this man is in power. Verse 10, now will I rise, saith the Lord, now will I be exalted, now will I lift myself up. Ye shall conceive chaff, ye shall bring forth stubble, your breath as fire shall devour you, and the people shall be as the burnings of lime, as thorns cut up, shall they be burned in the fire. Hear ye that are far off what I have done and ye 
that are near acknowledge my might. And yes, you know, this is going into the destruction that the Lord is going to bring upon the earth, you know, by way of the ICBM missiles and our Lord Yahweh Shai, you know, with the chariots. And that's, what is, and that's what's going to happen, you know. Those missiles are going to melt, you know, the elements, you know, and the people that are left here in Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, you know. Those missiles are going to be so devastating that it's going to leave this entire land of America desolate. That no, may, that no man may ever inhabit it again. It's going to be left as a memorial of how not to run a kingdom. Verse 14, the sinners in Zion are afraid. Fearfulness has surprised the hypocrites. Who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire? Who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings? You know, two thirds. You know, they're gonna they're gonna be left here to die and come back into the kingdom of heaven. Verse fifteen: He that walketh righteously. And speaketh uprightly, he that despises the gain of oppressions, that shaketh his hands from holding bribes, that stoppeth his ears from hearing blood. It's lucky. And shutteth his eyes from seeing evil. He shall dwell on high, his place of defense, his place of defense shall be the munitions of rocks. Bread shall be given him. His water shall be sure. Thine eyes shall see the king in his beauty. They shall behold the land that is very far off. <laughs> Thine heart shall meditate terror. Where is the scribe? Where is the receiver? Where is he that counted the towers? Thou shalt not see a fierce people, a people of a deeper speech, than thou canst not slack you. A people of a deeper speech than thou canst perceive, of a stammering tongue that thou canst not understand. And yes, you know, when the Edomites came to America, you know, while the tribes of Reuben and Gad and, you know, some Issacharites were over here in North America, you know, they came over here and they didn't understand, you know, the language that the Edomites were speaking. You know, they speak English, you know, because the nation of Islaki, the nation of Israel spoke Hebrew, you know. So they didn't understand the language in which they were speaking. Verse 20, look upon Zion, the city of our Solomon, Salakia, the city of our Somnities. Thine eyes shall see Jerusalem, a quiet habitation, a tabernacle that shall not be taken down not one of the stakes thereof shall be ever removed, shall ever be removed. Neither shall any of the cords thereof be broken, but there the glorious Lord will be unto us a place of broad rivers and streams, wherein shall go no galley with oars, neither shall gallant ships pass thereby <laughs> for the Lord is our judge the Lord is our lawgiver the Lord is our king he will save us and the Lord will save us if we believe on his son and call upon his name thy tacklings are loose they cannot well strengthen their mast they could not spread the sail 
then is the prey of a great spoil divided the lame take the prey and the inhabitant shall not say I am sick the people that dwell therein shall be forgiven their iniquity and yes you know pretty much the point that I want to bring out in this chapter is verse 6 you know of wisdom and knowledge being the stability of our time because you know that's what we're going to need in the time of Jacob's trouble and another thing we also have to remember is that you know we have to believe that the Lord will deliver us in that time speaking to myself first and foremost you know because the Lord is going to deliver his elect you know certain of the elect will have to you know, be beheaded, you know, for the testimony of our Lord, Yahweh Shai, but they're still going to be delivered, you know, they're still going to be risen up. So, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give our praise, honor, and glory due to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, where our line is true from. And I'd like to say peace and salutations other than hopefully late. Till the next time I say Shalom.